So finally, just to, to touch on some uh, authorization FAQs for those of you who are looking to become authorized in the UK in the long run. Uh, the first question that I get asked quite often is what is the timing of the authorization application? And the answer is different for insurers and for intermediaries. Um, so insurers who will be dual regulated by the PRA and the FCA um, can apply at any time and the regulators are encouraging you to engage with the PRA and FCA pre-application process uh, before you submit an application and to do so proactively. And you can actually submit uh, an application now if you want, um, but and this is because of the timing constraints. This is only applicable for firms who've, who've already got their application in. Um, if you are seeking the authorization of a, a branch, the authorization can only become effective once the passporting arrangements cease. So uh, at the end of the transitional period. Um, but if you're seeking authorization of a UK subsidiary, um, then that entity can be authorized um, today. Um, actually, speaking of, of timing of, of the applications, there has been a temporary temporary extension of the statutory time li limits for the UK regulators to process authorization applications from EEA passporting firms. Um, and this changes the, the time limits from six months for a complete application and 12 months for an incomplete application to three years from the end of the transition period. And this is to allow uh, the regulators time to clear the backlog. Um, those time limits apply for both insurers and, intermediary, and intermediaries. But the process for intermediaries um, is, as I mentioned, different to that for insurers. Rather than just being able to apply whenever you want, um, intermediaries who are in the TPR will be allocated uh, something called a landing slot by the FCA, which is a three month window during which you have to submit your application. We're still uh, waiting for much of the detail on how this is actually going to work in practice, but based on a, a earlier policy statement from the FCA. We think that the first landing slots are going to be open from about October 2021 and that firms are going to be notified of their landing slot shortly after the end of the, the transitional period. So you will have quite a bit of time to, to prepare. Um, there was actually another consultation paper from the FCA that did come out about its approach to international firms, um, which came out, sorry, in September but it focused more on how the FCA is going to assess firms against um, minimum standards and its expectations for firms when they apply for authorization and for the period of ongoing supervisa supervisation uh, rather than, than the practicalities of, of the TPR. Um, and although the PRA is the lead authority for authorization for insurers, that consultation paper is of relevance for both insurers and intermediaries, as the FCA needs to give its consent before the PRA grants authorization. Um, and so for both solo and dual regulated firms, the FCA has said that it'll pay particular attention to the extent to which it is able to supervise the conduct of the firm's UK business, um, including the potential outcomes in an insolvency situation, um, the role and accountability of the firm's senior management, and the senior uh, sorry and the supervisory cooperation with the firm's home state regulator. Um, the FCA goes on to discuss the choice between having a UK branch and having a UK subsidiary uh, in the consultation, uh, consultation paper. And it reminds firms that although they do have the choice whether to serve their UK customers from an entity incorporated outside the UK or through a UK incorporated company, a branch or subsidiary, in both cases where an authorization is sought, that authorization will cover the whole entity, including both its UK and overseas offices. Um, interestingly, in this paper, the FCA did also state that it expects firms to have an establishment or a physical presence in the UK, which is in keeping with the, the tenor of the, PRI, the PRA's guide to authorization for insurers, although the PRA didn't explicitly say that it needed firms to have some kind of physical presence in the UK. And although this isn't a strict requirement, I would therefore recommend that any firms that are currently operating on a FOS basis in the UK 
proceed on the assumption that they will be asked to establish a branch in the at least a branch in the UK as part of their authorization. Um, and this is the FCA says to help it mitigate uh, any uh, any risks. 